Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and this is a 75 cubic foot solar oven that Dan and I built last week. The maximum heat potential, 300 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This oven weighs about 600 pounds, and if you look down here, you can see we put tires on it. See these tires? That way we could roll it around, and everything's painted black. This is a wooden frame. Now the glass, actually we got the glass for free. You live on a road where people dump junk, and they actually dump, these are um, windows from a convenience store that, to the coolers. So it's double pane glass, and so you have a nice air barrier in between there. The outside is not really that hot at all. The inside is about, ah, the inside is about 190 degrees right now. We're eventually gonna be putting hinges on this so that we can pop it up and work in there. We're not really sure what we're gonna use this for as far as food goes, but our goal is to use this to melt acrylic materials and that sort of thing to make some uh, parabolic shapes. The two panels and the floor are approximately five square meters, but the real power are all these mirrors. This solar oven would make Archimedes proud. Oh, that's hot. The nice thing about this oven, even though it's about 210 degrees inside right now, you can touch the outside of this. That's because of the insulation of the two layers of glass. Now, this was actually made in 1987. So this is from a convenience store that probably went out of business two or three years ago. There's actually a lot of these doors around now because with the gas crisis that happened, a lot of the convenience stores couldn't make it because they weren't selling the extra stuff and they were only relying on just gas so they weren't making much money so if you find a convenience store that's being tore down they basically just chuck these the nice thing about this glass too is that it's tempered glass so if it does break you won't have sharp things everywhere and it can handle the heat difference is pretty good because you slowly ramp up the oven and then the heat stays there you just want to be careful with an oven like this that you don't open the door really really fast you want to kind of do it slow and allow the heat to come out that way it doesn't shock the glass but i've opened this door closed it and the temperature actually you only lose about five or ten degrees and then it ramps back up now in the summertime i'm going to be really interested to see what what this can do i haven't finished all the seals yet on this door that opens but it's uh so i stick that cardboard in there but stick your hand in there <laughs> good trick now you put it in. you put it in no you Just put <laughs> it's hot no way you can see the steam coming out of it's there it's that's, steaming everywhere. That's the moisture from the wood and that piece of concrete being just vaporized in there. 273, close it. So it's 273 degrees on the back side over there. So you get to see your solar oven in action. We're gonna have more videos with this solar oven, cooking stuff and doing different things, melting plastic, that sort of thing. It is like 68 degrees outside. The sun's kind of low because it's January. So in the summertime, this will probably be a lot stronger with the sun directly over your head. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. So you get to see your solar oven in action. <laughs> that didn't sound very. So you get to see your solar oven in, in action. So you got to see your solar oven in action. Do it one more time. <laughs>